In this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to turn the sticky keys pop-up warning off. I'll be doing it in Windows 7. Uh, I believe it should be ex almost the same for Vista. And for Windows XP, I can't even remember if it even has that problem or not. But with that said, I'm just going to get straight into it. Basically, if you're a PC gamer such as myself, or if you just press a certain button quite often, like the shift key for example, you'll get this pop-up warning here, which is a Windows warning and it's pretty annoying. And if, you, um, if you're if you playing a video game in a full screen mode, and you keep pressing the shift button often, like myself, if you have a key binded, it'll minimize the game and just display that warning vi uh, window instead, and it's really annoying. So I'm going to show you how to turn it off. So in this example, let's pretend that this web browser is, um, oh, would you look at that? It's my website. I wonder how that happened. Huh. Oh, well. Uh, so we're going to pretend that this browser that I have open is a video game or a browser on its own. You, you can pretend whatever program it is on your computer. I'm going to hammer away at the shift button and I'm going to show you what's going to happen. Okay, so I pressed it five times in a row and this is the warning that comes up. So if you're playing a video game, like I said, it'll minimize and show this. And regardless of which program you're using, it pops up anyway. So I want to turn this off because I find it really annoying. So what you're going to do is click the Windows logo, Control Panel, ease of access, change how the keyboard works, and here. Here's where it says uh, turn on sticky keys, but we want to go into the subsection, like all the prompt warnings and this and that. We're going to turn it all off. So what you're going to do is just basically uncheck mark these options here. Uh, I'm not going to read them out loud because it's going to take too long. If you want, you can just pause the video here and just follow along. This should turn off all warnings and pop-ups and any annoyances that occur. So you press apply, okay. Sorry for the little lag, it's because I'm doing a screen capture. Okay, that's done. Now let's press the shift button a lot and see what happens. There, I'm, I must have pressed it like 20, 30 times by now, really fast. Nothing's happening. So that's how you turn sticky keys off in Windows 7. Like I said, it should be the same for Vista and XP. I can't remember how to do it because I don't even think it has that problem. But that's how it's done. And I hope you found this useful. If you did, subscribe to my channel for technology news and rumors. You can check out my website, which is this. And um, subscribe and thanks for watching.